Hey folks, so we're going to talk real quick about setting the boundary of a traced image or a traced object. And what brings this up is recently I posted a video where I traced an object and then I got a tip from a viewer, Stavros, uh, that'll make this process even easier for us. Uh, so welcome to the channel. I'm Dave. So you can see I've got a pair of 10 shears over in my camera control window. And I'm just going to click Update Overlay. Now, the, one of the first things you want to do, or the first thing, is if you're faded out when you do that, turn that fade off. That way you can see if you've got a good uh, image, you've got uh, good lighting, good contrast. And then you want to click Trace. And you get the familiar trace window like you do when you're, when you're importing an image and tracing that. Uh, I'm just going to back off on this threshold a little bit. I'm going to show you what I've done and then show you what Stavros recommended. All right, we got an image. Uh, and you can fade that out here so you can see that you have a good image or the best image you can get. I'll back off a little bit more. Click OK. Now, that's what I've done uh, in the other video. And you can see I've got all this trash around here. So what I've done was ungroup it and then pull out the piece I wanted and deleted everything else. Well, there's an easier way, and that's what Stavros uh, told me about. So I'm just going to start over. We're going to discard this. We're going to do it again. We're going to update the overlay. We're going to trace it out. And this is the part where you set the boundary. I guess I'm getting in a hurry there. Uh, let me back off on this threshold a little more. Right about there is good. So you can see the trash along the edges that we had to delete. Well, if you select this, and it doesn't matter in this case whether you go from the left or from the right, it doesn't matter. And this is where you set the boundary for what's in that window that you want to keep. So you select that, you click OK, you pull it out, maybe. You pull it out, and there is your object. It's not a perfect set of shears, but it is a vector. So that'll save you some time, and that works with, uh, with images and objects. And uh, the first thing I've done was ask AI, could I do it? It told me no. I don't like to be told no like nobody else does. So I started digging through the Lightburn documentation, and I found two references to it. So this is in the 2.0 documentation. You can find it under Image Trace, and you can also find it under Camera Control. So y'all check that out. If you find something new I'm missing, please let me know. I want to thank Stavros again for the tip. I really appreciate it. And if anybody else has any tips or any topic suggestions, please let me know. And if the video was helpful, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow, keeps me out in the shop. I'll keep trying new things with light burn and the laser and sharing them with you folks. So just check back often for new videos. You folks take care and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.